Welcome back to your Step Up Math class. Today's, Today's lesson will be division of a four-digit number by a two-digit number. Today's assignment will be from exercise 4.4. Question number 1. A, B, C, D. And from question number 2, sub number A and B. Copy question number 1. Divide the following. Two lines for your name and for today's date. Write exercise 4.4. Divide the following. 2489 divided by 54. Draw answer dash. Then leave a line and copy the numbers. 54. And draw line. Write 2489. So today we will learn how to divide four-digit number by a two-digit number. So, since the divisor is a two-digit number, we will look at the two-digit numbers of the dividend. But 24 is still smaller than the divisor, so we will look till the tens place. We will look at these three numbers. 24 can enter a ma se 24 he divisor 54 ay ala teta bagin abul si ami a tens place a bi tlen kan kan pa enang so we have 248 so let's see whether 248 is in the 54 times table draw line for a rough column so let's see let's find out whether 248 is in the times table of 54 or which is the nearest to 248 54 times table at 248 he omem and zonga pun alaw om lawa ni pun number 248 ayat claim si inge number na iber ka kan zong doon ni so we will start from 2 54 into 2 2 4 za 8 2 5 za 10 Allah lalu tukani. So, 54 into 3. 3 fours are 12. 3 fives are 15. 15 plus 1, 16. 54 into 4. 4 fours are 16. 4 fives are 20. 20 plus 1 is 21. 54 into 5. 5 fours are 20. 5 fives are 25. 26, 27. So, 2... 270 exceeds 248. So, we will take 54 into 4. Right? 216. And then we will subtract 216 from 248. 8 minus 6 is 2. 4 minus 1 is 3. 2 minus 2 is 0. So, we don't need to write 0. And then after that, take down the number which is in the ones place and right next to 32 and we have 329 so 54 into 5 here to 270 and yeah 329 so 54 into 6 6 fours are 24 6 fives are 30 31 32 so we can know that 384 is the nearest number in the times table of 54 which uh, is in the nearest of 329 329 naiber to 324 so we will write 6 54 into 6 is 324 subtract 324 from 329 9 minus 4 is 5 2 minus 2 is 0, 3 minus 3 is 0. So we have the remainder 5. And then it will write the answer. Quotient is equal to 46 and remainder is equal to 5. And when you finish, you will draw a long line. Your assignment from question number 1 will be A, B, C and D. Copy down question number 2. Sub number A, there are 4,619 students in a school. If they are divided equally into 31 groups, 
how many students are there in one group. School pakata kanin student ka 4,619 an oma. Chuan in 31 group sa kanin an in chen dona, an in divide dona. 31 group 31 na kan. Chuan in 31 group sa chuan in students ing zad zil nge omang. Di ka kan zong dona. As it is a story sums, we need to write the statement before dividing the numbers. So the statement will be, the first statement will be the number of the students. Number of students. The Changhyan statement kan langa. Suanin, a second statement turtsu, the number of groups. First statement will be the number of students and the second statement will be the number of groups. And the third statement will be the number of students in one group. Draw answer dash and then total number of students. Students om za zong zong ka school at students om za zong zong number ka arun pea. So we will write total number of students is equal to 4,619. Number of groups arun pea. A number arun pea. Azir zil kanin statement kan siyam ching kat so number of groups is equal to 31. Number of students in one group is equal to the total number divided by the number of groups. So we will write 31 and then write the dividend 4619. And if we write the answer, there are dash students in one group. We will write the question to get here. Question number B. Each student contributes rupees 75 towards a help campaign for an orphanage. If the total contribution is rupees 2625, how many students have contributed? No pang pakat zel kanin rupees 75 ka orphanage tan kanin anto ani. Zwanin Total contribution and to kom zong zong ka rupees 2625 and ya. Zwanin pakatin 75 and to zwanin ing zat nge no pang ing zat in nge puisa kato tika kan zong swag dona ni. Zwanin there will be a bit difference here. So the first statement will be the total contribution. The total contribution is rupees 2625. And the amount contributed by one student is rupees 70. Each student aronti zwanin nao pang pakat zelin aronti na kanita a zwan zwanin. The first statement will be the total contribution and here the amount contributed by one student and the third statement will be number of students who contributed you will write the statement the total contribution is equal to 2625 and the uh, contribution po is salud zong zong ka 2625 amount contributed by one student is equal to rupees 75 as it is uh, as we talk about money, we will write amount. Poi satila ni vangin amount. Layan amount. Tin katsya kani amount contributed by one student is equal to rupees 75. And here we write number of students is equal to the total contribution divided by the by the amount contributed by one student. 2625 divided by 75. We we'll write like this and we will divide and write the answer. Dash students had contributed. We will write the answer here. After we finish, we will draw a long line. Assignment from question number two will be A and B. You will submit your assignment before 8 p.m. Thank you.